Welcome to another episode of Global Bank Mini Finance Week. My name is Ithika Lok. Today we're going to talk about top five places to visit on a budget. The excitement of traveling to a new place, the breath of fresh air, the aromas of delicious food untasted before, immersing in the culture of a new set of people, the benefits of a vacation are many. But if the side effect of a vacation is blowing a hole through your pocket, the aftertaste is not a pretty one. Here is a list of places you can travel to without blowing your budget. Cambodia. Soak in the breathtaking views of the iconic Angkor Wat atoll. A hot air balloon at sunrise, bathing the magnificent temple in its golden sunshine. Hop onto a tuk-tuk and go pagodas, hopping in the narrow lanes of Phnom Penh. Those fond of cruises can pick from the serene and breezy view of the Halong Bay or the bustling hub of activity in Mekong Delta. The experiences are many in Cambodia. Be it the hypnotic Apsara dance, strolling on the idyllic beach resorts in Chinookville, or feasting on the Khmer cuisine. Average cost per day is $50 per person. Turkey Turkey has something for everyone, be it thrill seekers or culture enthusiasts. Pump up your adrenaline by snowboarding or windsurfing in the Aegean Sea or skiing or snowboarding in the Kordul Mountains. Roam in the streets of the old city in Turkey, revel in the glory of the most majestic Ottoman mosques, the Blue Mosque, and take in the aromas of the nearby spice market. The picturesque Cappadocia will blow you off your feet with the fairy chimneys reminding you of Mars. No space travel required here. Stay in one of the cave hotels in Quint, and the scenery from the hot air balloon is unforgettable. The boss for his dinner cruise may set you back by a few bucks, but the night cruise with the famous whirling dervishes dance, seashell and lip-smacking local cuisine makes you worth it. Average cost per day is $45 to $50 per person. Albania Albania is a hidden gem in Europe that offers you beautiful sights, the stunning Alps, as well as pristine beaches rivaling those of Greece at half the cost. If you fancy cobbled streets and archaeological towns such as Bertrand and Apollonia, and hamlets such as Vera and Corsoville, take you straight to a fairy tale. The beaches here can give the French Vera a run for its money. Placid waters, breathtaking sights, and the delicious seafood are all reasons for a thumbs up for the Albanian coastline. Average cost per day is $60 per person. Peru A trip to Machu Picchu is usually on most travelers' bucket list. The ancient Inca city is one of the seven wonders of the world, and while entry to the site will set you back by $50, it's a trip of a lifetime which will make it worthwhile. Plus, stay and food is fairly affordable in Cusco and Lima, both cities you should and have to visit. One, Lima is a gateway to the country, and the other, Cusco, the quaint town, which is stop over for Machu Picchu. There are many ways to reach Machu Picchu. The cheapest option is private cab or bus from Cusco. The train is more expensive, and the four-day hike on the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu is perhaps the most expensive option. A trip to Lake Titicaca and the highest navigable lake in the world is a beautiful experience. The peace and calm will help you find the zen in you. Average cost per day is $70 per person. Nepal For those who love mountain biking and hiking, Nepal is a paradise waiting to be explored. Watching the sun come up over the Himalayas while surrounded by some of the tallest peaks in the world on a trek is an unbelievable experience. Those looking for nirvana can find a refuge in the temples and Buddhist monasteries. Kids will enjoy bathing elephants and looking for rhinos and tigers in the Royal Chitwan National Park. Average cost per day is $40 per person. So which of these places do you want to visit? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. And one lucky winner will win a one-year free subscription of Global Banking and Finance TV Magazine.